Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the Marvel's problem of force F. So let's read the problem statement first. So in this problem, Saf has A marbles and his friend has B. They want to redistribute the marbles among themselves so that after redistributing, Saf and his friend both have at least one marble each. Okay. And the number of marbles with Saf is divisible by the number of marbles with his friend. These are the two conditions. So we need to determine the minimum number of marbles that need to be transferred from one person to another to achieve this. So let's see some example. So let's see the first case 7 and 2. So that means if you transfer one marble from here to here, then the resultant will be 6 and 3. So it is divisible by 6 divisible by 3. That means answer will be 1. Or what we can do? We can transfer here from here to here. So that will become 8 or 1. That is also divisible. So answer will be 1 here. But in the both case, we need to take the minimum 1. Right? We can do anything. So let's see some good example. So we have 6 and 5. 6 and 5. So we can transfer one marble from here, it will become 7 and 4, but it is still not divisible. Then we have 8 and 3, still not divisible. Then we have 9 and 2, still not divisible. Then we have 10 and 1. Now it is divisible. So how many we have transferred? Like we can do either 10 minus 6 or 5 minus 1, that will be 4. So 4 is here. Okay, so another case will be what is possible? It is possible that we transfer from here to here, not here to here. So it is 6, 5. We can do 5, 6. It is still not divisible. And at the end, you can go, but it will be not divisible. Why? Because this is a smaller number. First one is a smaller number. A second one is a greater number and the condition is we need minimum one so it's not possible to divide one right so let's see one more example <clears throat> five comma six okay here we can't transfer because it will it will not be division so we need to make this and bigger big elements so we will transfer from here to here so if you can see, like you can transfer one by one and check the divisibility. At last, what you need to do, you need to do like transfer five elements. So it will become ten, and this will become one. So the answer will be five here. Okay. So how can you solve this problem? So there are some problems to solve. This is not straightforward as it seems. So what you can do, you can take input as a comma b, okay, and then what you need to do, you can have two answers, okay, a1 and a2, both are initially 0. Then you can declare n comma m, that will be a comma b, right. Now you need to do one thing, run a loop, while loop, this is a while loop and the condition will be n should be greater than or equal to 1 and m should be greater than or equal to 1. Inside this, what you can do, if you need to check if this n are target n modulus m it is equal to 0 if this is 0 then we can break our loop and we will have flag variable ok f1 and f2 initially both are 0 so what you can do f1 equal to 1 and break 
okay and otherwise if that is not the case what you need to do you need just this a1 a1 increment a1 plus plus and what you need to do n plus plus because we are considering the increment case for first n plus plus and m minus minus right so at the end of this loop you need to check one more condition what if if this f1 is still zero if this f1 is still zero that means we have not come across at this point n divisible by n modulus m is equal to zero so we have not come at this point that means whatever we have a1 plus plus it should be discarded so we can here define a1 equal to some big number okay let it be 10 raised 5 we can define this number so similarly what you need to do for uh, that you need to again define n comma m the second while loop second while loop it will be same it will be a comma b and then you will make a loop and in the end instead of this f1 you need to do f2 that will make 1 and instead of a1 plus plus you need to do a2 plus plus okay and another thing what you can do you can do n minus minus because this time we are transferring m plus plus you need to do in the second second loop and the same condition like this if f2 is equal to 0 0 then a2 equal to 10 is 5 because we need to discard then at the end you need to take minimum of minimum of a1 comma a1 comma a2 so that will be your answer a1 comma a2 will be your final answer Hope you understood the solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you and keep coding.